Here are three effects that you can use in your next video. The first effect is something I love to use when I'm telling a story about something that happened in the past. This effect can also be a transition. For example, my girlfriend and I flew up to Seattle to go explore Olympic National Park for the weekend. We stayed in this amazing dome adventured through the lush rainforest and hiked to a couple incredible waterfalls with extremely tall trees towering above us the entire time. Eventually, we caught a sunset at a cold and rocky but beautiful beach. On the last day, we headed to downtown Seattle where we had a delicious dinner right before we went up to the top of the Space Needle to catch the last sunset of the trip. That's where we learned we love the outdoors way more than the city life. Now, the reason I love using this effect for this type of a story is because when you add a vintage look to it, it almost embraces the fact that it was a long time ago and it has an older age to it. I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but you can do this in any video editor. First thing you wanna do is find the clips that you wanna do this effect on and do the color grading on them. Now we have to find a really cool looking film overlay. Go ahead and click the link down in the description. It'll bring you to Envato Elements. So while you're signing up for a month or annual account, if you haven't already, fun fact, I've actually used this website for about a year and a half before Envato asked to sponsor this video. And I genuinely love this website. So up here at the top, you'll see a bunch of different options. Go under the stock video dropdown and select motion graphics. Type in Super 8 Kodak Film. As you can see, there's a ton of different options here but I'm going to go to the second page and find the one that has a little bit of a frame at the top and the bottom. I feel like this is the most authentic. Download it. Drag it into the timeline and put it over your footage. With the overlay selected, come up here to the right-hand side under the inspector and come down to the composite mode. Click on the dropdown, and when you have this type of overlay, you either want to use darken or multiply. In this case, I'm going to use multiply. Then drag the overlay up two channels. Select the first video clip. Then come over here to the right hand side and drag crop top down and you'll want to match it up to where the overlay kind of cuts into this new frame. Do the same thing for the bottom. Hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and push C. Select the rest of the clips, right click and select Paste Attributes. Uncheck all of the video attributes and then just select the crop option. Then select Apply. After doing that, all the rest of the clips will have the same crop. Now what you'll want to do is highlight all of the clips and duplicate them and drag them up to the second video channel. Then repeat that process to create a third layer. Select all of the clips on video channel three. Come up here to the right hand side under the inspector and pull the Y up until it fills that little tiny part of this frame. Then highlight all of the clips on the bottom. Do the complete opposite. Pull this one down until you fill the bottom part of that frame. You may have to zoom in just a little bit to see where it starts to fill the frame. Go ahead and pull up the overlay up one more video channel. Come up here to the top left and select Effects. Then select Effects and you'll see an adjustment clip. Click and drag an adjustment clip in between the overlay and the video clips. Extend it all the way to the end of this effect. Then come under the Color tab. Turn on the clip so you can see where the adjustment clip is. Find the adjustment clip and go ahead and turn the saturation down. What I like to do is turn it down in between 30 to 40, but it really just depends on how your first original grade was graded. Then come back to Envato Elements, type in Film Burn. As you can see, there are a ton of options. And I have actually downloaded this pack here, this one, this one, and this one. They all come with sound effects as well. So I've already done that, but you can go ahead and select any of these. They're all fantastic. Come back into DaVinci Resolve. I put my film burns into a power bin. So as you can see here on the left-hand side, I have all of these readily available for any project. I'm gonna scrub through some of these and see if I like any of them. 17 looks good. So I'm gonna click and drag it into my timeline. So you can decide to either put it underneath the overlay. So the overlay has the film burn of the footage underneath, or you can put it on top. It's totally up to you. After you've placed it where you want it, Come up here to the right hand side and under the composite mode, I like to select under the drop down, add. Then I'm gonna find another quick one that I may wanna add in the middle of my timeline. And I'm just gonna click and drag it here and I'm gonna shorten it because I don't want it to be too distracting. And I'm gonna change the composite to the same as before, add. And then I'm gonna do it again at the very end. So come back to the color tab. And the secret sauce is gonna be on this adjustment clip that we created before. So on the same node, come down here to where the curves are. Click on it if you haven't already. Then if you look down towards the waveform over here, you'll see LS and HS. This stands for low soft and high soft. And if you crank these up to 
It creates a really unique vintage look. It rolls off the highlights and it rolls off the shadows and it creates like a really vintage authentic feel. Quickly come back to Envato, come up here to sound effects and type in film. You have numerous options here. I downloaded this first one. Then go ahead and drag in the sound effect where it actually starts the initial clip. All right, so now here's the extra, extra special secret sauce, which is gonna sell this effect to make it as best as possible. Select the top left clip, right click on it, and come up to change clip speed. This is a Super 8 overlay, and Super 8 cameras actually filmed 18 frames per second. So go ahead and change this to 18, then select change. Hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and do Alt C to copy. Select all of the other clips besides that first one, right click on them and select paste attributes. Uncheck all of the video attributes, come down to retime effects and select apply. And there you go. The second effect adds a hit or some movement to your footage. For example, I was working on a car commercial for this advertisement on TikTok and there was a transition that just needed an extra bit of so this is where this effect comes in handy. And these are the two clips that I wanna do the effect on. Come up here to the left-hand side under the effects, select effects, and let's drag an adjustment clip on top of these two clips. I'm going to trim this one, delete that, and then duplicate this one, like so. Head back over to Envato, and this time select video templates and scroll down until you see DaVinci Resolve. Search for hits. What I have downloaded already is realistic hits and rumble effects, the action hit effects, and the real camera moves. These three packs are swassy. <laughs> when you download these files, by the way, they come with a help file and it shows you how to install it. So once you have it installed, come under your effects, click on the pack that you want to use. For this first one, I'm going to use the action hit effects. And I'm just going to pick action hit XY number five. Drag it on top of the first adjustment clip. By default, they're pretty chaotic. So what's great is if you come up here to the right hand side under the inspector and click on effects, you will see all of these adjustments. And what's really cool about these effects is you can actually change the point of the shake. So you can turn the pointer on and move this over to like the center of the wheel and then you can turn it off. Then what I'm gonna do is just turn up the RGB distance a little bit. I really want this blue to have some really cool colors. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then I'll probably turn down the shake speed a little bit just because it, it is pretty aggressive. Awesome. Now, these action hit effects actually have a little bit of a vignette. So I'm going to just extend the adjustment clip over a little bit and just fade this out into the next one. Now, on the second shot here, I just want to hit. I don't want any special effects. I don't want anything too crazy. So I'm going to use the PGS hits and rumbles. And I'm just going to drag the first one on this adjustment clip. And it actually turns out that the client loved this part of the video more than anything. The third effect is a split screen effect. A split screen simply places more than one shot in a frame. This effect can provide a wide range of results. Split screen is a great technique to show cause and effect or illustrate how one thing relates to another. Here I have the three clips that I wanna do the split screen on. So what you wanna do is layer them on top of each other and trim them to all the same length. Then right click and create a new compound clip for each clip. Swing back over to Envato, select DaVinci Resolve Templates, and type in Split Screen. Some of these are projects, but the one that I like to use is just a direct install. This one is by LL Motion Graphics. Go ahead and download this one. Head over to your download folder and open up the download. Double click on the DRFX. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to overwrite it. Come up here to the Effects tab, and then click on the dropdown for this effects here. Then you'll see what you just installed, which is the split screen effects grid layout. As you scrub over these clips, you can preview what each one looks like. Now, since I only have three video clips, you wanna make sure you pick something that only splits it into three. I'm just gonna click on this first one and drag it on top of the first clip, the second clip, and the third clip. You can come up here to the right-hand side, select effects and select the second box. That's where I want it to go. Now for the second one, I'm gonna keep it at number one. And then for the third one, I'm gonna put it in video position number three. And if you guys wanna see another badass effect, check out this video right here. By the way, I also have memberships now available for my channel, so make sure to check that out if you wanna support me further. Thank you so much and have a great day.